Hi, and welcome to the 2017 Paper 1 of the Junior Start Higher Level. Um, this, is, this is question 13 we're on here. So I suggest before we get started that you pause the video and just have a go at the questions. Uh, if you want a copy of the screen grab questions and then the answers built in on the next page, uh, please email me at shanetroy at gmail.com. So we get stuck in. This is question 13. So it's the 15D scale. Okay, so there's a lot of marks going. There's no part A or B. This is all one question. And the question states or asks, draw each of the following three functions in the domain minus 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. For x is an element of uh, r. So it's a real number. Now, a real number just means basically any number minus the complex. But you haven't come across complex numbers yet. You will in leave insert. And the x values here are, we're concerned with start at minus 2. So x is greater than or equal to minus 2, so it can be minus 2. The next number that's, uh, is minus 1, uh, 0, 1, and 2. I think outside that is beyond our scope in this question. So let's get stuck in here to the first function. And I see straight away it's y equals x, uh, take away 1. Uh, that's a first order polynomial. It has a power of 1 on the x. It's not written there because we don't bother um, cluttering the page, but it's a linear uh, equation. I could call a first order polynomial, and it would look, it would it would look like a line basically. Okay, now we can tell a few things from this. Okay, I can draw it um, different ways, but this method I'm writing down now is this called slope intercept form, um, and and given the general form below, so this m corresponds to the number in front of the x, which is one. So the slope of this line is one. It crosses the x, so the y-axis, the intercept, at minus 1. So it crosses here. Okay. Now it's going up 1 for every 1 it goes across. So I could straight away draw it here by having those two points. Okay. Now here you see it's going up by 1 unit. Now it's going across also by 1 unit. Now it looks like 2 because there's two boxes, and the, those two boxes are stretched just because of the, um, the editing. But if you see here, it starts at 0, and that's 1. So that is actually 1. Uh, unit. So my line, we're going through those two points. Okay. Now it's kind of linear. And that's my line. Now obviously you use a ruler and you'll do all the correct things. Okay. Um, now I go straight to the answer here, just when I've done the, I've done it slightly differently. Okay. Um, I've put in an x value. Okay. Here I put in 2 instead of x. And I find my corresponding y value. So when x is 2, y is 1. I've also done that for the 0. Okay. When x is 0, y is minus 1. Okay, so I've written the coordinate out here, 0, minus 1. So I've, I can use those two points. Uh, 2 on the x, 1 the y is here. Okay, and 0 on the x, minus 1 the y is here. So any x value going in will give you a corresponding y value, and it will give you a coordinate. You only need two points to draw a line. Okay, so that's the uh, first one there. Now, the second function here, y equals 2 minus x squared, and that's a second-order polynomial. We most commonly refer to that as a quadratic. I know that because there's a power of 2 on the variable, and the, there's only one variable on the on one other side. The usually that's given to you is 0 equals 2 minus x squared. Uh, in, you know, in the other questions, we had them there in question like 12 or 11, and you have to solve it. Okay, But in this case, we're asked to draw it. So I need to know uh, the corresponding y values that for each x value. The x values again are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So go to the answer here, okay? I have them done out here. I have a sample calculation. Once you have the sample calculation done, you can just change the x value on the calculator and get the corresponding y value. So make sure you put it in properly the first time. Uh, your graph should look something like this. If it bulges out in any way, that's there's a mistake in that point where it bulges. So quadratic will either look like this, if it's negative x squared, or if it was a positive x squared, it would be flipped and it would look like a, like a valley. So... That's that. Okay, and the next one now is uh, exponential. Okay, so it's y equals 2 to the power of x. Okay, um, I have a sample calculation done. I've done 2 to the power of x. I put 1 instead of x. And 2 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 2. So when x is uh, 0, uh, actually when x is 1, that's, that's incorrect. Let me fix that. Now you'll notice I've just I fixed that error in the notes and saved it. So when x is 1, y is 2. Now, I had a correct up here in the question. But I suppose in one sense, it just shows the importance of doing the sample calculation. Okay, my sample calculation was correct. 
well, I'd made an error here. If I'd carried that error over, uh, it would probably be applied as a as a as a either a misread or um, arithmetic error, and I wouldn't be penalised uh, too much be a minus one deduction uh, as opposed to uh, incorrect for the whole part. Okay, so the sample calculation for each one is vitally important, um, and I very seldom see the sample calculation done, and oftentimes then if there's a wrong answer, or no work shown, um, then I, there's zero grade awarded. Now, when you plot these, did the five points again? There's different uh, five different x values, so five different coordinates. And you notice that the graph starts to go up slowly and then increases. Now, if, you, if you kept that going, that graph would go up something like you know, like that. Okay, exponential growth. So that's question thirteen. Um, look forward to feedback in the comment section, and apologies for the error. And see you on question fourteen. Thank you.